Welcome back to our conversation with the president of the UMass system, Marty Meehan. Thinking back to when this all started, it was really just a few weeks ago, but it seems like longer. The first case that we knew of in Massachusetts was a UMass Boston student. Yes. Who had been in Wuhan. Yes. How, first of all, how is he doing? Uh, he's doing very, very well, and he did exactly the right thing. He wasn't feeling well. He went immediately and talked to uh, uh, health experts, immediately left the campus and uh, went into quarantine. He's doing reasonably well. Reasonably well. He had flu-like symptoms, but he's, he's doing extremely well. But who would have thought at that point what was going to happen? And I have to say that the chancellor uh, at uh, UMass Boston was right on top of this and said, you know, we have to think about how this thing is going to spread and we have to be prepared. And with that case, we began thinking of different options and what could happen. Yeah. So, so that gave us an opportunity to start thinking early about what our options were to make sure we protected our students, kept them safe, our faculty safe, and, and then how are we going to get our students, 75,000, we're the largest uh, university in New England, how are we going to make sure that we keep it going for them? Now, you've talked a little bit about debt service, and uh, the university borrowed a lot of money for construction. One particular item I, I kind of want to ask you about, the, uh, the Edward M. Kennedy Institute over there uh, next to UMass Boston was uh, built and is operated in part on bonds that were floated with the debt service split 50-50 between the Institute and the UMass Bonding Authority. And I'm wondering if... Um, if, if that's ever going to reopen. Well, actually, uh, I have been in discussions with the Edward M. Kennedy Institute. They are working uh, on the federal uh, relief bill, and we th they think they have some relief for the, uh, for the debt on that. So they are constantly working again with the congressional delegation and folks in Washington. Uh, there are many, many other entities in that situation around the country. And uh, thus far, uh, you know, the, 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 the Congress and, and the President have stepped up with a significant package. I've talked with uh, uh, folks in our delegation, Congressman Richie Neal, and they're likely to do another package, likely to do an infrastructure bill. So we're looking at ways that we can get, that we can partner with the federal government okay. to get through this. One thing I'll tell you, John, as I step back and look at this crisis, this country needs public research universities. Our, not only are we producing more of the people on the front lines, more nurses and doctors that are on the front line, but we do $650 million worth of research every year. Much of that research is focused on this crisis and trying to find solutions to testing, trying to find whether or not uh, with some of our research can find uh, a, a way to deal with this, a way to, uh, to treat folks. So there's a lot going on. We need our, our research institutions in this country, and I think in the long term, we're going to get through this and be stronger because of research universities. Take our final 30 seconds here to address the UMass community uh, uh, directly. What, what, do, what do you want them to know from you at this moment? I would say that I'm very, very proud of UMass. I'm proud of our 75,000 students. Uh, they're in a very difficult situation where, where their semester got totally disrupted. Uh, but yet they're reading their assignments, uh, they're, they're using technology that they hadn't used in the past. The faculty has been incredible. I mean, it, to, to have the faculty switch over and do the work that they've been doing is, is, has been great. Uh, all of our campuses have been sending in to their local communities uh, any masks or any medical equipment that they have. They've been, uh, our students have been volunteering on the front lines uh, all over the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So I would say to the, to the UMass community, thank you to the faculty, to the students, and all that they're doing to get through this crisis. This is a difficult time, un really unprecedented in our country's history. So, so we're going to keep doing, uh, be as strong as we can, get our work done, and, and there will be a brighter future. We, we will get through this, but we have to be smart about it. We need to do the right thing. We need to help each other.